Traveler's Company is the brand that we all know and love which created the original Traveler's Notebook. Traveler's Company, which was formerly known as Midori Brand, currently has three shop locations in Tokyo called the Traveler's Factory. The flagship Traveler's Factory store is located in the Nakameguro neighborhood, and the second store is located at Terminal 1 of the Narita International Airport, and lastly, the newest Traveler's Factory is located in the Tokyo train station. Let's take a tour of these three amazing stationery stores. The Traveler's Factory flagship store in Nakameguro is only a few minutes walk from the Nakameguro subway station. There are many ways to walk to the location, but I found that the least confusing route is as follows. After exiting the main gates of the station, turn left and walk two short blocks until you hit the Baskin Robbins. Turn left and continue walking for two very very short blocks until you hit this small parking lot. Turn right and walk for about 30 seconds and you'll see a dark grey building and a small gravel parking lot. The store is on your right, just follow that small path near the gravel parking lot. After taking multiple photos of your traveler's notebook with the building, you enter to find yourself in stationary heaven. When I first walked into the store, I was greeted with the Mr. Softy and Traveler's Factory collaborative stationery line which features a red and blue ice cream motif. The island that you first see when you enter the store houses the newest Traveler's Company products and collaborations in general. To the left of this island is this awesome shelving unit related to all things coffee. Traveler's Company is actually really into coffee as much as they are into leather goods and stationery, and they had an impressive selection of hand grinders, carafes, pour over coffee drippers, gooseneck kettles, mugs, tumblers, thermoses, and last but not least, coffee beans. If you move a little to the right of that little coffee nook, you are greeted by the bulk of the non-Traveler's Company products that are sold at the Traveler's Factory. The first shelving unit contains many stamping products like wooden alphabet stamps, DIY stamp kits by Shiny, roller date stamps, and ink pads. This shelf also houses some sealing waxes and the brass stamps to press the wax seals. If we shift a little to the right even more, we are greeted with another shelving unit, but this unit is dedicated to writing utensils and art supplies. This shelf has a fine selection of J. Herbon inks and pens, a few Windsor and Newton pencil crayon sets and watercolor palettes, as well as other painting supplies and writing utensils. If we move a little to the right even more, we hit a mini library and bookshelf. Most of the books on the shelf are for sale. To the right of the books is a lovely shelf filled with Traveler's Company leather goods. They have wallets, pouches, coin purses, and coasters in various sizes, and they're all made out of the same leather that the Traveler's notebooks are made out of. Traveler's Company brand brass keychains are housed at the top of the shelf. Let's quickly move over to the west wall of the store and start near the entrance. The corner near the window and the entrance is where they keep a lot of vintage stamps and ephemera which you can actually purchase and beside that is a cool section of Pan Am edition stickers and stationery and beside that is a giant rack of awesome postcards which have really cool travel themed prints on them. Also, be sure to look at all the walls in the store because they are stunning and are decorated with vintage toys, film cameras, and posters, and parts of the store straight up look like a museum display. My favorite shelf in the store is obviously the one where they keep all the traveler's notebooks. This main shelf contains all the various sizes and colors of traveler's notebooks in the main traveler's notebook lineup as well as the necessary accessories tongue twister for your traveler's notebook such as folders, zipper pouches, and notebook inserts. They also had the limited edition olive traveler's notebook collection during my visit. The next shelf is dedicated to Midori and Traveler's Company brass products like brass pens, pencils, rulers, and clips, in addition to a few remaining 10th year anniversary mini Traveler's Notebooks on the bottom shelf. If we slide a little bit more to the left, we are greeted by another shelf filled with all of Midori's spiral bound products as well as these box style pencil cases. The tiny nook beside that last shelf is where they keep all the edible products like coffee, candies, and cookies, which are conveniently and artfully placed right beside the payment counter. In between the first island at the front of the store and the stamping station near the payment counter is the second island. This island contains the four roof canvas zipper pouches, traveler's company washi tapes, top handle brass stamps, and various notebook charms. 
Actually, Traveler's Company has a pretty great selection of tin and brass charms, as well as these really cool knot charms called Mizuhiki charms, and also these wooden Yosegi charms. There's also this small tray filled with writing utensils and accessories nearby, and to the left of this tray are these special Traveler's Notebook inserts. These inserts come in different colors such as black, peach, turquoise, and yellow, and the paper on the inside of the notebook match their covers. They also have these handy half inserts which have half the amount of paper in them. Moving on, behind that island is a stamping station where you can use all these custom made Traveler's Factory stamps on your postcards and Traveler's Notebook inserts. There's also a mailbox where you can drop off your mail and you can buy postage stamps at the payment counter. I didn't get any footage of it but there's also a Traveler's Factory in-house heat embosser and you can pay to use it and get your leather Traveler's Notebook heat embossed. Just in case you thought I was finished, there is a second floor but the second floor is just an open space for visitors to write postcards, journal, create art as well as to drink coffee which you can order on the first floor. As you can tell, I spent almost two and a half hours here just fanboying and internally screaming at everything. Be sure to reserve a good chunk of your day if you plan on visiting because every corner, wall, and nook is so fascinating and artfully decorated. Okay, let's move on to the second Traveler's Factory location called the Traveler's Factory Airport. The Traveler's Factory Airport location is located at Terminal 1 of the Narita International Airport. If you take the subway or train to the airport, take the elevator from level B1 to the 4th floor which will take you to the airport mall. Once you spot the McDonald's, walk a little bit more and you'll see it on your right. The Traveler's Factory airport location is considerably smaller than the Traveler's Factory flagship store. Don't let that size fool you because this store still carries the full stationary lineup that Traveler's Company and Traveler's Factory offers. The only difference with this location is that this location doesn't sell as much non-Midori, non-Traveler's Factory, and non-Traveler's Company products. If you are visiting, please check out the limited edition Narita Airport Traveler's Notebooks and all the cool washi tapes and Traveler's Factory goods that they've created just for this airport location. Since we're at the airport, it makes sense that this location also sells travel related goods like tote bags, pouches, packing cubes for your luggage, neck pillows, and even eye masks and slippers. At the corner of the store is a small stamping station for you to stamp your notebook inserts or other stationary items, but I think my favorite part of the store was the capsule toy machine. To use the machine, buy a token from the counter and use the special token to obtain a capsule. This certain machine dispenses Narita Airport themed pins which look great on a backpack or jacket. That's pretty much it for the Traveler's Factory Airport location, but fun fact, my flight was actually at Terminal 2 and I was running a little bit late, so I still decided to take the train to Terminal 1 before checking in because sadly, I'm too obsessed. But anyways, let's go and check out the last Traveler's Factory location called Traveler's Factory Station. Traveler's Factory Station is located at the JR Tokyo Station Marunouchi outside the ticket gates of the north exit on floor B1. If you take the train to Tokyo Station, it's pretty hard to miss since once you exit the north gates, you'll see the store right in front of you. This is the newest Traveler's Factory store and it opened on April 27th. And like the Traveler's Factory Airport location, this store is a little bit small. But don't let the size fool you because this store still carries the full Traveler's Factory and Traveler's Company stationery line. If you are going to purchase one thing from this Traveler's Factory station location, <laughs> that rhymed, check out the special station edition Traveler's Notebook which is embossed with gold foil. The Traveler's Factory station is a little bit smaller than the Traveler's Factory airport location, but what really makes this location shine is the amazing stamping area they have at the store. Go check out the giant Tokyo Station stamp they have at the stamping area and go stamp your notebook insert with it because it's just a really cool and giant stamp. Also, check out the awesome Japanese city stamps that they have at the stamping location and in general, just make the most of all the cool stamps at this Traveler's Factory location. And that's pretty much it folks. We've successfully visited all three Traveler's Factory locations. If you need any additional information or if you need the addresses for these stores, check the description bar below. Also, let me know which location was your favorite in the comments and I think that's it. 
If you're new to the channel, hi, hello, my name is Job. I'm not usually this concise with my thoughts, and I'm more rambly, but I guess I'm rambling now, so maybe I'm not that concise. See? Don't listen to me, actually. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with all your stationary obsessed friends. Before I say goodbye, let me know what you think about this new end screen. I know it's a little bit more minimalist, but if you miss me stirring the coffee in that end clip, let me know. Okay, enough with the rambling. I'll see you all next week. Bye!